Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today's experiment is very simple. Uh, what if I told you a circle is made of very small, many, many, many small straight lines? Yes, so a circle is nothing but, uh, you know, it's a group of straight lines combined together. Uh, that's why you can see far away but you cannot see more than eight kilometers away why because the earth's curvature doesn't allow you so you can see straight for eight kilometers but after that you have to you know go further to see further down uh, anyway so this concept the earth is round that's the basic concept and uh, we don't see the earth as round we see straight we, we see the you know the distances around us as straight lines in that but actually straight lines are what make a circle now how do you explain it to children so through this simple experiment we will attempt to do that so without further ado let's get started okay so as always first let me introduce what things you need to do this simple experiment first thing that you need is piece of paper now here I have with me an A4 sheet of paper but it can be even a smaller or a larger one uh, depends on your preference and availability so we need a piece of paper and the second thing we need is a pair of scissors that's all we need now let's get down to the experiment so first thing that you need to do is fold the sheet of paper like so now it can be lengthwise or it can be widthwise it can be any any uh, way as long as you are folding it into uh, half that's okay now here you're making the second fold and you just crease it so that you know the fold remains strong the third one is this way so this is the third fold we made. Now the fourth fold would be this way. So we have made four folds now. Okay. And let's try if we can make a, a, a fifth one as well. Yes, I think uh, it's not as good as the first fold but it's good enough okay so we made five folds now uh, if the paper is thinner maybe you can make six or even seven but I think this is good enough so we made five folds uh, let me just repeat it to you so that it's easier and this is what it looks like at the end of it <laughs> it's kind of amazing anyway so the first fold is this way this is the first fold the second fold is this way now the third fold because you have to keep the center this is the center isn't it so don't make this way uh, that way you'll fail the third fold goes this way this way okay and the fourth fold again goes this way like an arrowhead and the same way goes for the fifth fold okay now the folds are ready what do you need to do all you need to do is about uh, how many centimeters would be that let's say three or four fingers from the center this far make a cut so okay let's stop the video here for a second and uh, I have a question for you so the question is now after folding the paper five times how many layers of paper are we cutting through okay so the question is very simple for example if you fold the paper uh, you know the first fold is like two layers of paper the second 
fold is four layers of paper and we folded the paper five times so how many layers of paper are we cutting through after folding it five times so pause the video and ask the question from your friends or students or children and uh, then uh, you know write down or note down what their guesses are and then uh, reveal the answer so the answer is we are cutting through 32 layers of paper after folding it five times now if the paper was a bit bigger or a bit thinner and if you had folded it six times then you would be cutting through 64 layers of paper and uh, if you had folded it seven times then you would have been cutting through 128 layers of paper isn't that amazing so I just uh, thought about you know putting in this tidbit in the middle of the video uh, to give you the basic idea of how thick the paper would be after five folds and so the scissors need to be sharp enough okay now back to Cut our it video this way now the scissors need to be good you know sharp scissors otherwise they won't be able to cut through these many layers of paper so be careful with that and make a straight line cut as straight as you can that's it okay let me get it back now this one is not much use to us let's keep it on the side for now and the scissors as well their roll uh, is over so let's clear the canvas now what we have here if you look at it it's a straight line isn't it you cut a straight line but if you unfold it just unfold it and you will end up with a circle isn't that amazing a perfect circle so straight lines now our earth is also round but we see straight lines and you can see this straight line is kind of you know eight kilometers is as far as you can see and so uh, you know straight lines combined together to make a circle isn't that amazing so that was our experiment and I still kept this one with me to just show you uh, another way of depicting the circle so what you have left here is also a hole which is a circular hole isn't that amazing so that was our experiment of the day uh, the earth is round even though we see straight lines in all directions but actually these straight lines make you know combine together to make the round shape of our earth And that was our experiment of the day. Straight lines combined together to make a circle. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment on this video. Uh, please spread it as much as possible. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.